A Metro girl bitten by a snake, but doctors were able to save her life with the help of the Oklahoma Blood Institute. Now her family is giving back. Darren Brown has their story. It takes a little nerve to play catch with Carly English. Whoa! There's some heat on that ball. There is heat on that one. But her mother's nerves were tested to yep. the limit just seven summers ago when a five-year-old Carly encountered a rattlesnake while playing outside. I saw the tail of it. It was kind of halfway into the gravel. And I really didn't think anything about it. I kind of glanced at it and figured it was a stick or something. She walks over and she says, Mom, I just got bit by a snake. And I just said, what? Shelly called the hospital, loaded Carly up, and took off. Well, at first it didn't hurt at all, but it seemed like the drive was such a long way, and it just kept getting more pressure and pressure. Shelly was feeling pressure that night, too, because the anti-venom that the hospital gave her daughter wasn't working. As her blood became more and more contaminated, Shelly had a tough decision to make. That was hard, having to sign that paperwork, you know, to say that you can put somebody else's blood in my child. That was very hard. Because she had never donated blood, never thought about it until her daughter needed it desperately. It took platelets from seven donors to bring Carly back to good health. I started giving back and started giving blood every time I could, every 56 days or whatever it is. Carly has a few more years before she's able to donate, but says that she plans on doing it. Yeah, even though I'm terrified of needles, I'll probably still do it. But... Darren Brown, News 9. That's a great story. News 9 is teaming up with the Oklahoma Blood Institute and the Oklahoma Red Hawks for the All-American Blood Drive this Friday at the ballpark. Donors will receive two tickets to the July 4th Red Hawks game against the Iowa Cubs and a fireworks show right after the game. Well, more pet owners are now buckling up their animals when they ride in cars and trucks.